Here she is, woman of the hour. Let me see you. Stand up, do a twirl. <coughs> Lovely. <coughs> Sing hold me. Stick. Yeah, hold your stick. No. Hold your lamb. No. Where does lamb sit? No. Does he, does he sit here? No. Can you sing me a favourite song? No. What is it? No. A gift of... No, it's not that song. D what about the Little Robin song? No. What's your lamb called? Lamb. And what are you going to be? A What's your character? A shepherd. That's right. Yes. And what, have we got, what are we going to say, Florence? We're going to sit there and we're going to say... Yeah? yeah? And when you get, if you get scared, yeah. who do you look at? Daddy. And? Not you. Alright, fine. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today is the 13th of December, and I won't have to do school run today, which is amazing. Um, Neil's got half a day holiday because it's P's nativity performance today. So I get out during the school run, which is great. P didn't want me to do it anyway, and Neil just loves mornings, and I can't relate to that. So I've had a slow morning. Um, I'm at home with Florence. The nativity is at is that half an hour. Hang on. Yeah. Well, I literally just had an absolute freak out and thought it was at nine. It's not. It's at half nine. So Neil's going to take her, come back. And then we're going to chill for like 20 minutes, if that, and then we've got to go. So, I don't know how it's going to go. She's a shepherd and she's been crying for weeks that she's a shepherd because she wants to be a star or an angel and she doesn't like the costume and... <sighs> but, she came out of school yesterday saying about how she's super ready, she's performed it to the nursery and she's excited so hopefully she'll be okay and i just said to her, I was like, if you get nervous you just look at me and you look at daddy um she's been in a vile mood this morning just keeping it real just i, th I think she hates being a sister and that's been something i've been struggling with for the last since florence has been born um but yeah she just Florence is so annoying. Florence is this. Florence, Florence, no, 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 no. It's just... <laughs> Florence hasn't eaten her crust. It's like, yeah, because she's two. There's four and a half years between you and she doesn't get it. Oh, and it, the sooner she gets it, the better. But she just, oh, it's, it's painful. Oh, but can't change it. Just got to ride the wave. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody's okay. I'm feeling a bit better. P's obviously better. She's back at school. She went to school yesterday. We had a horrific weekend, like you would have seen. Yeah, I know. The house is a mess. Woo! Uh, but yeah, we've survived the weekend. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still really like bunged up. My ears are still, still really muffly. Yes. No, you can't have a muffin, it's eight in the morning. I'm hungry. Okay, you can have a yoghurt and some fruit. Um, right, I need to do my beans on toast. Oh, it's out, got to get her a yoghurt before she screams at me. And yeah, should be, should be a good day. Yay, finally, finally having a good day. You've done a poo, brilliant. Asda, just have a little look. Where are we going? Yes. Brilliant. We're going to go see Yay Yay's. Yes, Yay yeah, yeah. So we just finished up at P's Nativity. And for that to be... Why is my battery flashing? Literally just charged it last night. For that to be P's last nativity in that school. And that's the first one we've seen in two years. I thought that was 10 out of 10. What would you give it? I loved it. It was so good. It was busy. It was very busy. Like, I mean, on stage, like, there was a lot of kids for the air. Ready for the gym. Gymshark top. Primark jumper. And... AliExpress leggings. 
they're not my favourite. Then I've got my Converse on. Right, I need water. Coat on. Perfume. Right, let's go. Right, so I'm now on my way to the gym. It's half past 10. Neil has got to leave for work at 12, so it's gonna be a very quick get in, get done, go home session, which is fine. It, I can't explain to you how cold it is. I know it's all everyone's talking about at the moment, but I have never known in December to be this cold. Maybe like end of January, beginning of Feb, but the fact it's like minus two, it's going to be minus six tonight. Like, what on earth is going on? I say to Neil that I'm never happy though, because when it's our heat wave that we had, it was like 40 degrees this summer, I felt like I was going to die because it was so hot. And now it's extreme coldness and I'm not happy. I just like spring. I like to be able just to go out in a jumper and jeans and be fine. A little bit cool. It's when you go into the shops, when you've got your hat, your coat, your gloves, your scarf on. Um, and then they've obviously got the heating on and you're just sweating. I hate that. Anyway, the nativity was so good. The, um, the camera battery died. I think it's because I left. What did you have to deal with? Well, wobbly camera um i think it's because i left my camera in the car when we went to the nativity performance and my battery got really cold and then it said there was no battery it was so good and i'm one of those parents that like i don't cry really that much i know i've cried during vlogmas because i get stressed but like day-to-day -day life i'm quite cold and i don't cry but just seeing kids that have practiced and learn a nativity and they all fucking smashed it. Just like the internal pride I have, not only for my child, but for every single child on that stage. It was so good, it was funny, the kids were great. Some of those kids, like they didn't just have like a line of a lyric, they had like a proper script and they all knew it off by heart. I'm so proud of everybody, it was so good. So there were a lot of kids, I think it was 90 kids, because it was both year one groups and both year twos. And oh my God, it was so good. And I'm so proud of Doos. She was so wobbly throughout the whole thing. And the fact she got up there and she did it, she didn't have her little headgear on because she didn't want to wear her shepherd's hat. And I don't blame the girl. And she did it and I'm so proud of her. She, I, I'm so happy for her. They're doing another performance on Thursday. Obviously, I can't go to it because I've got work. So, my friend that's going to go on Thursday, I'll get her to like keep an eye out for P. Um, but it was, oh, it was so good. It was so good. I'm so happy for her. And when she clocked me in Florence, because she was, all the kids were on the floor, and P's quite small, so she was right at the back because she's a year two. I couldn't see her at all and the only time I got to see her was when she was on the stage and when she saw me in Florence like her face just lit up and I was like yeah so proud of her she smashed it they all did they all did so well oh I just oh oh so good and I'm so sad that this is her last year at this school it's such a good school oh Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Anyway, so I'm now going to the gym, <coughs> like I said. I normally go, I think I said, on a Tuesday evening, but I just can't risk, especially when it's like cold and icy. If Neil's not gonna get home till like half eight tonight, I would normally go, but because it's icy and cold, if I go now, I can do wrapping when the children are in bed. So I'm trying to like utilize my time. Um, we haven't got anything planned anyway this morning with me and Neil, so quickly get this done. I have had a couple of questions, I'm not really too sure why. Maybe, I feel like people can relate to me and I don't, I, I still don't understand it. I've been doing this since, properly for six years, but I've been, I've had my channel since 2009, so what is that, 13 years? And I feel like for some reason, people just relate to me. I don't get it, I will never get it. And even all the comments are like, oh, you're so relatable. I don't know why. 
because I just talk like I'm talking to like my best friends. Like I don't, I don't really filter myself that much. Um, is that a bad thing? I don't know. But for some reason, people ask me questions, and I thought I'd just talk about it whilst I'm on my way to the gym. Because who doesn't love car chats? Um, I'm so bored of saying um. But I just can't help myself and the editing process to cut that out. I'm too lazy for that. So anyway, I've had questions about having confidence to go to the gym, what made me want to get into the gym, blah, 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 blah. Like, what, how do I know what to do? So if you follow me for years, you'll know that I'm a lazy cow and I never understood the person that I am now. And until I had a mental breakdown, <laughs> and a mental crisis that's what got me into it so if you watched December vlogmas last year you would have seen that I really struggled it's why I've stopped filming I just I just needed I just needed time out and my mental health was absolutely shot to bits I don't really I think it was just a it was just a lot of things going on top of each other and I just had an absolute breakdown my best friend Ellie she had a gym membership and I remember saying to her, I was like, how do you find the time? Like, I can't relate to it. Like, I don't have time. And she was like, go in the evening. And I was like, oh, okay. So she had a free trial or like a, a free, a gym pass. And I went with her and I was so scared and I didn't want to go because I felt stupid. And I went with her and after one time, I absolutely fell in love with it. I have a lovely gym, I have a pool, I have a sauna, I have a steam room, I have a hydrotherapy pool, we've got an outside pool, jacuzzi, like it's, it's like a, I do go to a premium gym, I go to David Lloyd, it's expensive, it's like £67 a month, it's spenny, and that's one other thing that I was like, I can't afford to go, and I could have gone to different gyms, but partly as to going to where I go is social time with Ellie. I, within that price, I get all classes included. I can go anytime and I just love it. So I just, I was in a bad place and I needed something for me and the gym was that. If I know that I'm having a really shit day with the kids and it's the day that I've got the gym, it's just getting to bedtime and I'm like, right, Neil, I'm out. Can you put the kids to bed? I need to go and just relax my brain. So that's sort of how I got into it. Confidence wise, I'm very lucky where I don't really give a shit about what people think. Like, obviously, I, I have those, like, oh, they're going to look at me, or blah, 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 blah. But I think after going for so long and seeing what people do in the gym, like, I'm not going to lie, I do sit and watch people. That's because I haven't got anything else to do. But that's not me judging people. That's me just finding out what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Just seeing what they're doing. People don't care. People... The reason why you're at the gym is the reason why other people go to the gym. The people go to the gym for their mental health, for their physical health, bit of both, social time. I don't feel the pressure to like make gym friends. I go to the gym to do my workout, to spend time on my own, and that is what it is. And I, I just, I can't explain to you how good it is for my mental health just to go and switch off. I put my headphones on and I'm in my own little world. And I know a lot of people as well, because I don't, people think, oh, I'll go to the gym to do cardio because I don't want to get big and I don't want to get muscular and, and all of that stuff. I don't like doing cardio, hence why I've got quite a lot of bad body fat at the moment. I'm, I'm the biggest I've been. Even post-op, I'm the biggest I've ever been and it's a lot and I'm trying to deal with that myself. But I'm not going, I don't go to the gym to be thin, I go to the gym for my mental health and I know everybody's journey is different, some people want to be shredded and all of that stuff, but for me it's it's my time it's my relaxing time i really got into lifting weights i absolutely love it and i think the, the main thing that i could suggest is just research it go into the gym and if you enjoy it do your research i'm still researching and i've been going to the gym for almost a year now um finding out what works for you there is a really good app called workout it's gray with yellow writing and i can't explain to you how much i used this when i first went to the gym so i 
then it looks like you have to pay money for it you don't if you skip it it's just like a it's an app where there'll be a girl's body or a boy if you are a male and you want to have like a male physique and there are i'll try and show you properly later there are different sections so it will show you like your shoulders your biceps your glutes your hamstrings and if you click on that it will show you so many different workouts with different equipment for that muscle that you want to work so i use that to learn and there's videos so it shows you exactly how to do it so i'd be in the gym and i was like oh i really want to try this i'd watch my video and be like right okay cool let's go don't get me wrong there are still things like hip thrust for example that i just cannot do i find them really uncomfortable and i just don't do it but it's just building up that confidence to get into it i used to love doing lower body i used to love doing my legs because i was too scared to do my upper body because i didn't know what i was doing but now upper body is my favorite day because i know what i'm doing and i can see a difference like i'm getting like a i don't want to say muscular back because i'm not it's just more defined there's more muscle there and like when neil like massages my back he's like oh my god like you've got muscle i'm like yes yes i fucking have i've worked really hard for this um the other thing i would suggest is trying to say you say you're going to the gym and you're doing two days a week you need to sort of figure out your split which i know sounds really wanky because people that go to the gym i am one of them and i classify myself as a wanker because it, it just is but if you're doing two days a week i would suggest doing two full body workouts so you're you're working out all of your muscles whereas for me because i try and go three to four times a week i'm able to fit in two lower body two upper body or i'll do a heavy lower body which i'm doing today which is where i'm doing quite a lot then tomorrow we'll be back and shoulders because obviously it's a quick workout and then thursday after my step class which i'm obviously burning 500 calories in i then will do like predominantly arms so like bicep tricep and all of that stuff <coughs> i have got my own little thing that i've made it's taken me a long time to tailor like my own like program i guess and i'm doing that for the next i did start it and i'm having to restart it because i was ill so i've got that for the next month i still need to figure out like my calories and being in a deficit because i do want to lose a little bit of weight but what my calories are aren't going to be what yours are so that's all different it's not that i wouldn't share mine i just don't know whether it's accurate i think it's like 1750 calories or something which sounds like quite a lot and i still i can't figure that whole calorie deficit thing out yet so i'm not oh i'll park here i'm not the best person to ask for that sort of stuff if you're a nutritionalist can you please message me because i would love to know where i'm going wrong because i sound like i know what i'm talking about but like i said i'm still very heavy and i don't eat too much and i go to the gym i'm the fittest i've ever been but i'm also the fattest i have ever been and it's it's not nice but anyway i'm now here i would love to bring you in oh my god sorry it's it's all um it's all gone wrong um i just need to quickly end this here i would love to bring you in but i can't take my camera in i've got nowhere to put it and i would try and get clips on my phone but the process last time was so painful and it the video was shit so i'm so sorry that i can't take you to see the gym but i will show you my plan and my routine later <laughs>
her lunch. What have you got? There. Yogurt. And then. Raspberries. And then. And then. Pom bears. Nah. And a cheese and marmite sandwich. So that's her sorted. Neil has just gone to work. Probably won't see him till late tonight because they are busy. I'm now going to make my lunch, which, oh, just cover myself in water. It's going to be some pasta. I don't normally have pasta for my lunch. But I'm gonna have some pasta and I've got leftover chicken from dinner last night. We had fajitas, so I've got leftover fajita chicken. So I'm gonna have that for my lunch. Oh, what's wrong? What? Oh, Elf. We need to get some more of those toys. We've got our little McDonald's toy tree. These are from last year, the little TY. I wish we got more of those last year and then this year we've got Elf on the Shelf ones. So we need to actually go and get some more of those. I'll try and get those at some point. I think you can buy them ind individually. Anyway, what's the saying? Don't know. What are you doing in my bag? Hey? Oi! Come here. Getting lippy for, hey? Pardon? I love you. You're so beautiful. Oh, I just love you so much. Look at you. Should be. Thought I would quickly go through all the bits with you whilst I've got them down before I wrap them. So he knows about this, he picked this out himself. It's from TK Maxx, it's a Calvin Klein half zip jumper. Not my type of thing at all, I don't like it. Calvin Klein golf. But he wanted it, so I got him that. Um, he also wanted a new flask. I can't even open it for work. This is quite a spenny one. This is eleven ninety nine, But he's very particular about the size and style that he likes. So I got him that. I got him Fuel for Life Aftershave. I haven't bought him branded aftershave in probably about seven or eight years he just gets next but over the years I've realised that I just like a man to smell really nice <laughs> so I got this on prime day I think this was like 26 which wasn't too bad and this is one that he wore when I first met him so I got him that got him his favourite chocolate small teasers got him some slippers from Sainsbury's I can't remember how much these were probably like £9 in the sale so I got them his main present this year <laughs> actually was probably one of the cheapest. This was £18. Did I pay that or was it less? I think it was 18 maybe £16. Um, and this is a deep fat fryer. Neil loves like proper chips. And it's something that he's wanted for ages but he's never going to buy it himself. So I thought fuck it, I'm going to buy it for him. So I need to get some nice oil. I don't know what type of oil to get. If you know, leave me a comment below. Um, but yeah, I just thought, what a good present idea. So it's from Asda. And I was going to get one on Amazon. I was going to get uh, a T-Fal one. And then I was looking at a different one. But actually, this is 2.5 litres. Whereas the ones on Amazon were like 1.2. So this is perfect for us as a family. So, But that is his, because I will never use that. But he will. So he will love that. I got him a hot water bottle. This is mine. Mine is right there. And he steals mine every fucking night. So <laughs> I bought him his own. This is from B&M. This was £10. So 
quite expensive for a hot water bottle but i have used mine every single night since october so and he will love it he asked for um thermal leggings because he works outside so i just got him two pairs of those from primark fluffy socks from primark i got him these nike tube socks these are from tk maxx 7.99 tube socks are well expensive so i just got him those i got the usual moisturiser and deodorant that's going to go together probably with the socks to be honest just like a little bundle in a box so i got him that i got him a three-in-one wireless charging phone stand um for his watch as well we don't have apple airpods but you could put the airpods there the phone there and then the the watch there his actually it just died so he's now got a nice stand and what colour did I get it in? Black. I can't remember how much it was because I got it on Prime Day. I want to say maybe it was like 25. It's quite expensive, but it's a useful gift that he'll use every day. Boxes from Boohoo. I've had these since the summer. I think they were like a tenner. I got him a personalised mug. If I can get this out. Hang on. Of the children. And me and the children and him and the children so i got that that will go with the chocolates and that'll be from the children i got him this jacket the other day i think i showed you in a vlog he wanted this so i just paid for it 16 pounds from primark i got him this as like a little joke extra we have games night with our friends and him and my friends they always play this together me and I don't want to say their names, but me and my friend's partner, we play Adult Guess Who, which is the best game ever. We don't play Guess Who, like, are they male or female? We say, do they have a part-time job? <laughs> have they had an STI? <laughs> and my friend and Neil play Battleships and Connect Four. So I just got our own version of that for when they come here. So I got that and I think that's everything. Already got Neil and he's already got himself was the PlayStation Online membership. I got it for him last year and he loved it. He's really utilised that. That'll be a gift that I get him every year. Previously it was like a download code so I could print it off and he could redeem it. Black Friday this year was really, really sneaky. You had to redeem it by the 28th of November. So I've given it to him already. So that was like, was it 34? It was more than last year. Maybe it was 36 for the year. So it was a more expensive gift, but he's already got it. So this is everything that he's got. I don't think I'm gonna get him anything else. He's got more than enough. Do you love Bluey? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to get that tongue. Anyway, I'm going to call Carol. I'm going to cook dinner. And then <coughs> I need to get the children ready for bed. I need to do reading. Uh, I don't have to make a packed lunch because Pete's hot dinner tomorrow because it's Christmas jumper day. So I need to pick out her Christmas jumper or let her pick them out. I need to get everything out and ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to stop filming for the next couple of hours. I'll catch up with you later. Just got to crack on with chores. I've decided to, I've decided to DNF my book. Let's do a quick cupboard chats. So I was reading. Whoa, Jesus Christ alive. <sighs> Could not afford for my camera to break right now. What was I reading? I was reading a book. Love Light Farms <coughs> on Kindle Unlimited. Everyone recommended this like on Booktube, but I just think it's really shit. This one. Um I don't enjoy it and I was listening to a podcast and they read it and I feel how they felt. Like I'm 35% of the way in. And it hurts to DNF a book 35% in. But it's just 
it's like fake dating trope with a best friend and obviously they both have feelings for each other but the thing that I can't stand is miscommunication trope and it's really pissing me off so it's not very festive it's actually quite um the main character is like projecting a lot of her feelings quite a lot I just blow my nose so yeah I just I'm just not whoop. I'm not vibing with it. So, I don't know what to read next. I think I need to go into a fantasy world. So, I thought I'd film this little clip and you can help me pick my next read. I don't know what to pick. I'm not ready to go into a court of silver flames yet. I don't know why, I'm just not. I'm not ready for A House of Blood and Earth by Sarah J Mass. I'm not ready for that. So, I was thinking of doing uh, what is it? Mary E. P e Pearson's. What is it called? I should know it. I know the cover. It is called. Please hold. Bow of Thieves. Or Dance of Thieves. Book one of that series. Because that's been raved about. I was debating that. I was debating rereading Shatter Me because Rosie, my best friend, she has started reading it for the first time and is loving it. And it makes me want to reread it because I've got it on my shelf with the novellas. Um, I don't know what else to pick. I want to read something different, as in like a a fantasy. I feel I I need a fantasy. I really enjoy reading fantasies like Winter Time. And I just want to binge a series. So if you've got any recommendations, let me know what they are. I've done Akatar. I'm working my way through Game of, uh, Game of Thrones. Definitely not. Throne of Glass. They're like the main ones, aren't they? I'm not ready to pick up a Cassie Clare, I don't think. I don't know what I want. I just want a really good series that I can get involved in and I like I'm difficult I like the best of both worlds I like plot and I like character driven I like a mix I don't like all plot I don't like all characters um so if you've got any recommendations please leave them down below I want either something on Kindle Unlimited or something that's easily available I don't want to have to traipse into the city to go and get it I want something now um, so let me know what I can read because I'm I'm just in the mood to about to devour a series. Uh-huh. Half past seven and I'm working my way through the edit. As you can see, we've had a bit of a mare. For some reason, oh fucking hell, I'll just throw in front of this iPad. For some reason, our outside freezer has just stopped working. I think it's because it's so cold that it's just, just stopped, which is really fun when it's full of food. So we've had to now de-ice our freezer in the house and try and condense everything. So I've got meals coming out my ears. I've got breakfast planned for tomorrow. I've got my lunch planned for the next couple of days. So I've had to like get the rolls out and I've had to get out like my pre-made meals. And oh, it's just a lot. So Neil's now hacking at the freezer, defrosting it, which is just what he wants to do after work. Um, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I've got nothing else to report and I'm already at 28 minutes when I'm currently editing this so this is a very long vlog. I want this done by 8 o'clock so then I can just chill for the rest of the evening. I say chill, I need to wrap and get shit done. But yes, I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Finally starting to feel better. It's been a really chatty one so I hope you enjoyed that but yeah I'm gonna go I can't remember when I'm next filming I've got a feeling it's Friday so you've got a couple of pre-records and then I think I'm filming Friday and filming Sunday so yes I hope you're all okay and I'll see you all in my next video